What's up everybody? Big Wheel K-Pop News Network coming back at you once again with all the news from the week that you've already seen on Instagram and Twitter. Don't worry ARMY, the story about BTS will be coming up at the end of this video, but your ass is gonna have to sit through the whole fucking thing because the last time I fucking posted a video and put BTS first, you didn't watch the whole thing, so this is your fault. With the Mnet Awards just around the corner, Mnet has officially confirmed that IOI will be performing with AKB48. Yay. Nobody cares except people in Japan and a few weeboos who get angry about everything. Probably in the comments below. Since nobody gives a shit about AKB48, I'm not even going to talk about who's in the group because I don't know and I don't care. However, on the IOI side, it is confirmed, well, not really, it is most likely confirmed that Chung Ah, Do Yun, Yoo Jung, Nae Young, and Kyul 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 Kyung, Pinky, okay? Just call her Pinky. Pinky, that's why they gave her the nickname will be there, most likely. So I hope they all show up. I super look forward to seeing it. It will be the only reason thus far I will be watching the awards. And by watching them, I mean watching it the next day in the clip that gets posted on YouTube so I don't have to sit through four hours of boring ass award show. In other K-pop news, we, hold on, hold on. What's that? My producer seems to be telling me we have breaking news. We have to cut away. We, wait a minute. Hold on, what? Hold on, what? Car! Hey, up! What you mean? This shit happen again? No, I'm not gonna do the spinning around thing with the breaking news. Fuck off! This is bullshit! Why won't somebody fix this? What the fuck, Planet Records? What the fuck, Korean police? Japanese police? You all can't tap a phone? You can't fucking trace a call? I'm just so fucking mad! They're not doing anything! Who the fuck is doing this? I just want to... But seriously, hey Pink, the offer is always on the table. Big Will and Big Paul from K-Pop for Life will fly out to Korea and we will be your new bodyguards. Because apparently the ones you guys have are not working. And we will literally physically manhandle Everyone that comes near you, give us a call. And in the big news story of the day, the one you've all been waiting with bated breath for, an American reporter has called BTS a lesbian pop group and claims that they ruined the AMAs, which I'm pretty sure was done before they ever had anything to do with it. So Mark Dice is a political YouTuber. He has over a million subscribers and over 700 million views on YouTube. And recently, during the AMAs, he went on Twitter and stated the following. Why would a Korean boy band, BTS, be featured at the American Music Awards? Question mark. Stupid Hollywood libtards. He then went on an additional post to state the following. Is BTS a new lesbian girl group? I'm getting too old to cover pop culture award shows. He then posted a picture of BTS performing at the American Music Awards with the statement, Meet the Korean lesbian pop group BTS featured performing at the American Music Awards. Followed by an additional statement demanding an apology from Big Hit Entertainment for ruining the American Music Awards, which as stated previously, was already done prior to BTS. Obviously his comments went viral in the K-pop world and people tweeted back at him. Here are some of his responses as I don't have the tweets that were sent to him to generate his responses. I will however read them word for word for you. BTS stands for bands that suck. Uh, at Big Hit Entertainment, when are you going to publicly apologize for ruining the AMAs last night? Geez, I was just wondering why girl group from South Korea was featured at the AMAs and their fans just went nuts. I didn't even mention that their music sounds like the dying rat stuck in a trap out by the dumpster. I figured it out. BTS fans are like babies in a crib, entertained by a mobile with shiny objects that move around while music plays. Since their brains aren't developed, it seems magical to them. I believe K-pop is causing brain damage to millions of youth. Sad. BTS looks like they're all overdosed on soy. 
In response to this, members of the Army have created an online petition to attempt to get Mark Dice sued for defamation of character of BTS, which he replied on Twitter in true troll fashion and saying, and I quote, Please sign this petition that some fans of some crap K-pop band featured at the AMAs started urging them to sue me for defamation, saying that they look like a lesbian girl group. And right below it is the actual thing. Signatures for that petition, by the way, are rapidly increasing to his goal of 5,000. All that being said, let's send it down live to our social justice warrior on the street. Thanks, Big Will. Linda down here on the street reporting as the riots are breaking out around me. Oh my gosh, people are literally flipping cars over. They're so upset at this white, homophobic, racist, misogynist, Nazi fascist comments. He's not allowed to talk, okay? In fact, you know what? Everybody behind me, everybody is a racist. Everybody is a homophobe. Everyone is evil except me and people that agree with everything I say because I'm emotionally weak, Big Will. I can't take disagreements because I've been told my whole life that everything is supposed to be happy, okay? I never learned to deal with hard emotions. I'm not a complete person, okay? You're a fucking racist too, Big Will! I fucking hate you! <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Anyway, if you were expecting the K-Pop News Network to give our opinion on this matter, you would be wrong. Because real news, like us, not fake news, like these guys, will give you opinion-based commentary. Whereas here, we only report the facts and let you, the viewer, decide. <laughs> you know I'm bullshitting. Of course I'm gonna tell you what I think. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one and I got a big one. So in all transparency, I actually watch Mark Dice's YouTube channel and I watch multiple other left-leaning and right-leaning political commentary shows because I like to get both sides of the story be able to form a complete picture using that lost art called critical thinking instead of flying off the handle at everybody that disagrees with me. Now, I will say, that being said, in this case, Mark Dice, you fucked up. You fucked up, legit. Like, I wouldn't go so far as to say it was racist or that he's a racist, but the comments were stupid. They were kind of homophobic and just in general, uninformed. I mean, clearly he's an old white guy who knows nothing about K-pop, nothing about the culture at large. Does it really matter? I mean, his opinion is irrelevant in the world of K-pop. BTS performed, their performance was good, the cameraman sucked, whatever that was about. And afterwards, BTS did a really cool thing. Instead of going and smoozing it up with the Hollywood elites and all the douchebags that exist therein, they went back to their hotel and they did a live fan talk with members of the army, which personally I respected greatly because they remembered who got them where they're at. It wasn't the American Music Awards. It wasn't Mark Dice. It was their fans and K-pop bands in general. All that being said, everybody has a right to say whatever you want to say, whether you or I agree with it or not. That is called freedom of speech, okay? It doesn't matter if what he said was hurtful, okay? Now you have the right to be offended by it, as do I. Was I offended by it? No. Do I think it was stupid? Yeah, it was dumb and he shouldn't have fucking done it. It was stupid because you're speaking very critically of a subject you know dick about. Anyway, please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I am very curious and let's try to keep it civil and not act like a bunch of fucking retards who are just fly off the handle angry about everything if you disagree with an opinion or in most cases just completely misunderstand sarcasm and the point I was trying to make. And to all the chubby nation out there, if there's anybody like that in the comments, feel free to jump in and rip them a new asshole.
Thank you for watching the K-Pop News Network. If you like what you see and you want to see more, click one of these two links that's going to pop up at the bottom right here. And don't forget to hit the fucking bell button because YouTube is broken and it never fucking updates anybody half the time, even when you do hit the bell button. So just fucking hit it. And remember, K-Pop family, it's not a trend. It's a lifestyle. K-Pop News Network, out!